Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for this April 29th, 2015 for the basic Sorgonomics. And today we're going to talk about Instagram. By the way, if you haven't checked out our weekly challenge that happened yesterday about recording your voice and let's talk about it. Let's get you uh, familiar with what your voice sounds like. Kind of critique yourself. If you're looking to start a podcast, video show, something like that, uh, just to kind of give you uh, a thank you, Gabriel. Gabriel's been on top of these challenges, especially when we're recording something every week. Uh, so, so thanks to him and, and and I, I'm sharing that on Twitter and everything, uh, so you can check out what he's been up to. Really good uh, discussion about uh, inspiration he's been doing. And a great call to action at the end, too, to ha- get others to uh, sort of respond to to his discussion topic. Today, I want to talk about uh, short-form video. Mainly, Instagram video is going to be sort of the target here. Um you know, something I don't think I've kind of got out on this too much. We, we had a, we do the Indie, Indie Mayhem show. It's about uh, independent pro wrestling. These are guys not in WWE. These are the guys that are, you know, working the bingo halls and, and, and not necessarily feds on TV, your regional stuff, right, that you can check out um, in your area. Look it up. You know, If you haven't, look up an independent professional wrestling show in your area. Just look for it, 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 look for indie wrestling in your town or your area or Western PA or, or yeah, regional like that. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, and look something up. Check it out. You know, if you have any inkling of liking pro wrestling, you may re-love it after checking out a show like this. Or it may suck. Not all indies are, are all that great sometimes. Anyways, um, but a lot of times I do it with uh, a friend from San Antonio that he's actually a commentator now with, um, inspire pro wrestling. And so we encounter and work with, uh, in, in some fashion, I of course do video production, uh, for, for some Pittsburgh groups, but the guys, you know, the indie guys, um, and you know, sometimes in the, in the cases of the, the, the feds themselves, the companies themselves, we talk about like a little bit of, uh, identity on social media. Right. And, uh, you know, the wrestlers have to become their own brand. WWE has proven that and become really, really instrumental in, in that. And one of the one of the people I look to as far, as far as uh, using social media the right way. And, uh, and, and, and and we're looking at a lot of indie guys that are trying to make a name for themselves and building fan bases. Um, you know, one, a friend of the show, I actually, if you haven't checked it out, I had a great video we, we did with uh, uh, Facade going down to Toonzeum and checking out the great Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exhibit. Actually, there's a picture on his Instagram right here, uh, re- reposted from me. Uh, uh, some of the fun we had down there. But again, he's got a lot of stuff going on. He'll do uh, some commentary about, you know, he's took on the great AJ Styles, a big name in independent pro wrestling. And, uh, and you know, really, uh, you know, kind of letting his personality out there visually. telling It's about telling a story. And uh, he's telling his story through visuals. He's a very colorful character, as you can see on the videos. You know, there's a lot of neon in there. He is the neon ninja, for instance. Um, but then I, I saw uh, another friend of uh, a friend of the indie uh, the mayhem shows in general. We've had so on several times. Um, she's really uh, really good and, and big in the area as well. Serafini um, happened to be checking out her Instagram or looked through my Instagram. She popped up and I know she's using a little bit of uh, Instagram video. Uh, whether it be little clips of matches that they've uh, super stylized and I think looks really cool. It looks like very old-timey wrestling when you get down to it. And it looks like they're recording it like off of a screen and then put a giant black and white filter on it. And it looks crazy. And, 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 and you know, it doesn't look good, beautiful, or anything like that, but it looks interesting. And, and, and like I said, this could be in front of 50 people in a horribly lit, uh, you know, maybe it's just not an impressive... Uh, layout there, but uh, she turned it into something that's that's kind of an artistic piece now. You know, uh, doing the best with what you got, and and even starting to see some things like you know promos. You know, they're doing a doing a, a promo and getting your point across for the show, your match, whatever it is, is really important. And being able to do it in 15 seconds, I think, is a tremendous challenge in this MTV gener. Are we past the MTV generation? I think it's more the Twitter generation these days, isn't it? But uh, but one of the first ones I saw doing something like that was uh, Amber Mack and uh, her crew up there in Canada doing the uh, 15 sec tech was the the ones that first kind of got my mind kind of rolling with this. And what they're doing is, I I don't know, I think it's daily they put one of these videos up, but uh, more or less, it is a 15-second 
technology tip review sometimes. It's got titles over it. It's formatted for that square format on Instagram. And it's just very, very specialized and pared down for 15 seconds, right? We're talking about peak brain chaining training for Android and iOS and something real quick. You'd be like, oh, hey, there's that app and here's everything about it in 15 seconds. And it gets me thinking, and this has actually sort of led to a couple pitches uh, that are on the table with me right now that we're looking at some of the brands that we've worked with, and the brands, companies, organizations, I guess you could say, and saying, you know, what can we do with this format? Because this is where, you know, if you're, if you're trying to hit, you know, and the one discussion I'm having uh, is I want to get the attention of the millennials. I want to get attention to everybody because our people are more informed and we need to do a part of informing them about exactly what we're doing here. And, 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 and looking at this 15 sec tech, you know, what can you do in 15 seconds? Whatever it is that you're trying to advertise, maybe it is just you, you know, maybe, maybe I should do a 15 second version of this show, right? Maybe, maybe for, for our friends at Seclair, I should uh, sit them down every week and be like, Hey, give me a mindful tip because they're a behavioral therapy, they're about mindfulness, DBT, stuff like that. Give me a 15 second tip. And we'll pare that down, put graphics on it. It's on Instagram, which automatically makes it shareable on Facebook and all auto plays and everything like that. So to do a version like that. So what can you pare down to 15 seconds? That's informational or entertaining. You know, and, and, and I think that's the other thing. We usually think, you know, Instagram video, we think of it like Vine, where it has to be something goofy and short. And, and you know, Rob on the run, if you don't follow Rob Johnson, uh, uh, Rob on the run on there, we've had him uh, look for him on our awesomecast.net. Uh, we had him on the show talking about what he's doing with Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Um, a very, very cool. Uh, it, you know, it's just goofy outlet stuff for him because he works with tv locally uh so he gets to kind of stretch his creative muscles on there and i think um I, you know that's great you know but uh, you know and, and you can do certain things with it if you're the kind of brand that that can do goofy right um or you're the kind of organization or something can do goofy but not everybody can do that a behavioral health, health therapy place needs to be a little more serious because there, there are persons there, there are people that are like kind of looking to take care of you so so, so, so take a look at that. Uh, look at some samples like that, like 15 sec tech, like that. Um, I'm using, I'm mostly using the video for clips right now. Uh, we've talked about Clamor in the past, and um, I'm already making 18 second clips to check that out. But that's another thing with Clamor. What can you do in 18 seconds that's a version? Maybe you can take your 15 second thing, and if it's something that still makes sense audio wise, now put it over on Clamor. Now you have another platform for people to find you. Um, I've been taking Clamor and uh, on top of just playing clips of the shows we're doing to say, hey, check this show out. And it's another and you can and you click a button and you can listen to the show right there in Clamor or right there on SorgatronMedia.com. Um, I've been trying to on the phone, you can actually record directly to it. So I've been trying to do an 18 second check in in the morning and say, hey, guys, thanks for listening to Sorgatron Media. Today, we're talking about Instagram video on this show. We're talking about iPads and planes not working on this show. We're going to talk about pro wrestling fans on this show. All these other shows are coming out. Sawtooth Willie's coming out. And, and I, I just kind of I, and it is just kind of a I'm trying to figure out how to inject the personality or entice people to, you know, follow on Twitter, check out the background stuff, you know, just little reminders each day for the people people that maybe just have that in the stream and it's 18 seconds it's gone before anybody knows it if it turns out to be too ad like and i'm not trying to make it an ad um other than just another place other than those points to say hey guys what's up hey this is the guy you've been listening to and i'm talking directly to you so you know again just kind of spinning that around and see uh you know see see what you can do with those short short form uh formats what do you think are you are you watching anything are you following anybody that's using video in an interesting way on instagram and it could be on vine it could be on just short snippets maybe people are using for facebook because short is the way to go let me know what you think are you following anything i'm looking for more stuff i want more examples 
uh, other than 15 sec tech to show people uh, to get this across and uh, uh, myself, but I'm completely sold on it, but I am sort of an early adopter when it comes to these sorts of things. Let me know. Hit me up, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. If you're finding this video or audio on Facebook, anywhere else, please comment on it. I do look out for that stuff. Thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for all the feedback for all the shows we're doing around here, and please check out everything going on, SorgatronMedia.com. So much. We're adding new stuff. I have two shows, one I'm launching this week, <laughs> one I'm launching this week, and one I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of the pitch for the first episode in the shower this morning. Um, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop until I have to. And we're going to create things until 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 we can do nothing but create these things. And uh, and it's supported. And, and, and this is what we're going to do around here. And uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.